Shans and Healy wrote a book titled The Lands Nobody Wanted. It is a story about the Weeks Act and buying back the clear-cut wastelands to create the Eastern National Forest. An underlying theme of the book, and in recreation and parks in general, is that often the wastelands nobody else wants can become, over time, some of the most beautiful and valued parks in our communities. The title, The Lands Nobody Wanted, is an appropriate title for this Recreation and Park series. Examples include Rails to Trails, Old Quarries, Yellowstone National Park, Central Park, and Gravel Pits. The focus of this video is on recycling two abandoned Alamo Portland cement quarries in San Antonio, Texas into valuable community parks and recreation resources. The common thread in this example is the Alamo Portland Cement Company. From 1880 to 1907, the Alamo Portland Cement Company was the first Portland cement plant west of the Mississippi. In 1907, the plant was abandoned and moved to Alamo Heights. The abandoned quarry was donated to the city of San Antonio. It sat unused for 10 years until Park Commissioner Ray Lambert designed the gardens which incorporated the kilns. It was originally named the Japanese Sunken Gardens. Because of the World War II conflict with Japan, it was renamed the Chinese Sunken Gardens. Later, its name was shortened to Sunken Gardens, and in 1984, the original name was restored. The quarrying options are clearly evident with the historic kilns incorporated into the entrance. The walls of the quarry are softened with vegetation. The sculptured quarry walls are reminiscent of Alphane's picturesque park in Paris, France, Les Buttes Chamont. Opened in 1867, it was literally carved out of a gypsum quarry using dynamite to shape its feature. The Japanese sunken gardens come complete with a pavilion, ponds, bridges, pathways, and colorful koi swimming in the ponds. In 1907, the Alamo Portland Cement Company moved to Alamo Heights. Since the location was three miles past the end of the streetcar line in San Antonio, the company built its own town. Appropriately, the town was called Cementville. It was complete with a company store, school, church, and houses. The quarry produced Portland cement until 1985, when the company once again moved its operations. The town closed. The plant and quarry were recycled by developers. The plant became a market. The smokestacks were incorporated into retail buildings. Also, the smokestacks became the marquee for the development. Designed by nationally recognized course designer Keith Foster, the quarry pit became the back nine holes of the quarry golf course. The two Alamo Portland cement quarries in San Antonio are examples of recycling. Abandoned, they were recycled and became valuable community resources. It didn't happen overnight. It took park planners with some foresight. An important aspect of designing the experience is the ability to recycle these abandoned resources and unwanted wastelands into valuable community park and recreation resources. It is an example of taking the lands nobody wanted and converting them into the lands wanted by everyone.